cutest exotic pets you can legally own. Number 10. Kinkajou. If you're like most, you've never heard of this animal, though more closely related to raccoons. Adult kinkajous, sometimes referred to as honey bears, look like a cross between a monkey and an albeit tiny bear with dense, woolly fur. Adults can weigh anywhere from 3 to 10 pounds and tend to be solitary creatures who take well to bird toys. They are nocturnal, so most owners typically keep them penned up at night when they're most active. If you're willing to go through the agita of having to build an outdoor enclosure, a kinkajou might be the right fit for you, particularly if you prefer mild-mannered pets to high-octane puppies or territorial kittens. Mostly, they're fruitarians, though some are known to develop strawberry allergies, and most all do best when kept away from citrus of any sort. Kinkajous are traditionally tree dwellers and possess the rare ability to rotate their hind ankles, which enables them to run quickly both forward and backward. Though their piercing cries, screeches, and occasional barks have earned them the nickname La Llorona in the forests of South America, they're known to be pretty docile, if messy, house pets. Number 9. Sugar Gliders Though these tiny creatures are commonly mistaken as rodents, they're actually marsupials, loosely related to the kangaroo and koala bear. Unlike most rodents, they have an average lifespan similar to dogs, in addition to a similar level of intelligence, which allows them to complete basic tricks and come when called. If fed the proper diet, they won't emit any odor, unlike other rodents and ferrets, which kind of smell like urinal cakes, even on their best days. Adults are nocturnal and weigh roughly six ounces. Unlike kinkajous, sugar gliders are highly social creatures that tend to live in colonies. PETA has railed against keeping sugar gliders as house pets, as they tend to be bred in conditions similar to puppy mills, and because of their size, are smuggled across countries in exceedingly inhumane ways, which can include being stuffed into extremely tiny containers. As their name implies, sugar gliders can glide between trees, resting upwards of 150 feet away from each other. Think of them as bug-eyed, white-bellied, furry little parachutes, sharp in tooth and claw. Number 8. Wallaby Cousins to kangaroos, wallabies are marsupial creatures, which are best suited to owners who can provide ample space for them to jump, run, and play. Because of this, most yards aren't suited to these animals' needs. Would-be owners should take note that they're notoriously difficult to house train, and just difficult to house in general, given their size, energy levels, strong hind legs, and nocturnal hardwiring. They differ from kangaroos in that their teeth have flat rows, as opposed to curved rows, and typically feed on leaves, which require less slicing than the grass that most kangaroos eat. Wallabies are typically two and a half feet tall and weigh roughly 30 pounds, though some breeds have been known to grow as large as 50 pounds and stand six feet tall. In different parts of the country, pet owners have noticed that their wallabies make a fine substitute for lawnmowers. Given their insatiable appetite for grass, rural areas are the best for these pets. Number 7. Hedgehog. Hedgehogs are kind of the roly-polies of the domestic animal world, as they like to curl up in tight balls at even the slightest hint of a threat. If they're attracted to an object or a creature's scent, they lick and bite it to form a ball of saliva in their mouths, which they then use to anoint themselves by spitting it over their spines as a kind of camouflage. When happy, they're known to whistle and purr, and if angry, tend to make a huffing noise. They're extremely susceptible to temperature changes. Some species are known to hibernate, while others are known to estivate, which is a process through which they cut down on physical activity as a way of slowing down their metabolic rate to prevent overheating. It should be noted that pet hedgehogs are typically kept in stable climates, so if you notice your pet engaging in either of these behaviors, you should take them to the vet. Though their spines may say otherwise, most hedgehogs, if given the right affection, are known to be warm, loving creatures who can live up to eight years in captivity. Activity. Number 6. Chinchilla. The soft, downy fur of chinchillas, which makes them the ideal cuddlers, has unfortunately contributed to their popularity in the fur industry since the 16th century. They don't startle as easy as other animals of their size, and are known to be low-maintenance yet high-strung companions. Due to their limited geographic habitat, chinchillas should only eat four things – water, hay, special fortified pellets, and rolled oats for treats. Chinchilla fur is so dense that if they were to be given a normal bath, they would be unable to fully dry and shortly after become hypothermic. In their native Chile, chinchillas use ash, soot, and dust to cleanse the oil from their skin. Owners should be ready to give their pets dust baths at least once a week, if not more. Unfortunately enough for the females of the species, chinchillas have remarkably long gestation periods for rodents, which spans roughly 110 days. They don't do well in places with high humidity and or heat, and are crepuscular, meaning that their nocturnal activity typically peaks at dawn and dusk. If you let your chinchilla on the loose, you do so at the peril of your furniture, as these guys like to gnaw their way through most things as a way of counteracting the continuous growth of their teeth. Number 5. Bush Baby. Like sugar gliders, bush babies, also known as galagos, are capable of leaping up to 20 feet. 
These squirrel-sized creatures are perfect for those of us who would like to know what it would be like to hear a newborn baby crying without all the messy responsibility and self-doubt that comes with raising an actual human. Their eyes are disproportionately large for their small frames and are admittedly somewhat mesmerizing. Their innocent demeanor is also a tad unsettling too, which might kind of remind you of a Furby. Also, their heads can almost fully rotate, so they have the whole Linda Blair eeriness going on for them. In addition, their fingers, though tiny, are also creepily human-like. They mark their territory by urinating in their hands, so, in short, this animal would be a perfect fit for someone who's curious about kids, and also perhaps a tad commitment-phobic. Also, any would-be owner would have to come from substantial means in order to be able to set up the proper living conditions for their bush baby, as the initial investment in quality breeders, food, and an enclosure can set you back several thousand. Number 4. Spotted Gannett Spotted Gannets may look like cats mixed with splashes of cheetah and bear, but they're more genetically similar to mongooses and hyenas, and have been kept as pets for a millennium and a half. They differ from most others on this list in that they are almost entirely solitary creatures and don't play well with others. They typically live up to eight years in the wild, but this number increases to 20 if kept in captivity. At birth, they weigh 3 ounces, but grow to be anywhere from 2 to 6 pounds. They're omnivorous and will eat almost anything they come across. Though they technically can be litter trained, they do engage in territorial marking, and if frightened, will emit a noxious skunk-like odor from their scent glands, which some owners opt to have removed. While their claws are semi-retractable, they are also extremely sharp. Gannets are not likely to retract their claws, even if they are engaging in what they believe to be friendly play. Number 3. Fennec Fox Fennecs are the smallest foxes in the world and grow to be only 4 pounds. As is the case with most animals suited for purses, fennecs are about as high maintenance as you'd expect. They're shy, solitary animals who can't be trained in any traditional sense. Though they may be able to learn their own name, they won't respond to it or come when called. If a male fennec is happy, he can emit a dinosaur-like screech. Other fennec sounds include yipping and squealing. If one of these foxes nibbles your knuckles, it means they really like you and are inviting you to engage in mutual grooming. They require a lot of attention, play, and strict feeding schedules, and can take upwards of a year to warm up to people, though this length of time is rare. Some fennecs may dislike people for no discernible reason, much like cats, whose instincts you should always trust, FYI. They alternate between high bursts of energy and lethargy. While their Yoda-like ears might make them seem adorable, their resting faces let you know they're not to be trifled with. Though fennec foxes are closer to dogs than cats from an evolutionary standpoint, their behavior tends to be more feline and swings between high bursts of energy to equally high bouts of lethargy. To the Wes Anderson fans out there who are wondering why this fox seems familiar, wonder no more, because Christofferson, Mr. Fox's perfect enviable nephew in the fantastic Mr. Fox, happens to be a fennec fox. Another fun fact, Christofferson was created specifically for the movie and is nowhere to be found in the original Roald Dahl book. Number 2. Mini Pig The ideal pet for Charlotte's Web and Muppets lovers alike. Similar to children, pet pigs are known to push the limits of their owner's patience, and many have had to resort to childproof locks to stop midnight pantry raids. They will eat anything, but their compassionate and intelligent nature makes up for it tenfold. It should go without saying that they need a lot of outdoor time. They can breed when they are just three months old, so if you have a male and female, keep them apart, unless you want a third mini pig in three months' time. It's important to understand that most mini, micro, or teacup pigs are really potbelly pigs that tend to be smaller than other breeds. This terminology is more founded in marketing than it is in truth. In the 80s, the pet pig craze reached its peak and then quickly dwindled once owners realized that their mini friends were growing to be over 100 pounds or more. Pigs are known to be filthy and bathe in mud, but as with the hedgehog, this practice can be linked back to self-preservation. In this case, pigs like to coat themselves with mud to protect themselves from the sun. Number 1. Mini Donkey Donkeys are known people-pleasers who love to cuddle and are extremely affectionate towards other animals, small children, and their owners. They can grow up to be 3 feet tall and typically weigh between 100 and 350 pounds. Training comes more easily with donkeys as compared to other pets. This is due to their wonderful memory, which means if you show them love, they'll remember it forever. The phrase, stubborn as a mule, leaves out the bigger picture. Owing to their exceptional memory, if donkeys have a bad experience with anything, they'll be more reluctant to attempt it again. Mini donkeys are native to Sicily and Sardinia, but were brought to the States in the 1920s. If you're willing to buy the stacks and stacks of hay bales that it takes to maintain their svelte figures, you'll likely find a wonderful addition to your family in the pet donkey, who is capable of living up to 35 years. If none of what I've said can convince you to become a mini donkey owner, look no further than Martha Stewart, who is the proud owner of two of these mischievous and loving creatures. Subscribe for more videos.